Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today's video we're playing some more randomized roguelands on the mini version. And we are officially four Vault Hunters in to a gauntlet. If if we get this win on Gunzerker right now, we'll be five Vault Hunters in to the ultimate gauntlet. One win in a row on each Vault Hunter. I think that we can make it happen. I think that it's possible for us. So what's it going to take to get us there? I would say a ton of damage, but for Salvador, it's a lot about how often can I get my my guns Zerk up, and that's the kind of like his big weakness in in Roguelands is the fact that you can't get your guns Zerk up that long. Scorn is good, but it's not as good on Salad as on other as it is in other characters. Yippee Kaye is chilling here. That's a nice skill to keep up guns Zerking. This is Ward. It's not Willing, which is okay. But we have Ward and Mylan for shields. Mm. This skill tree over here seems pretty nice, too. A lot of interesting skills. Deathmark without really a way to proc it. Keep it piping hot. Is good. Let's do... I had to take I took scorn rank one, and I think I take impact for the extra gun damage. As far as I'm concerned, that's the best way to go. Start start this run. Grab our shield. Grab a calipine. But it's really kind of gonna get a, it's gonna come down to how much we can get our action skill back on top of everything else. Max health fifty four percent. What else do we got? That should be good enough. Let's roll. Let's roll. We got a shotgun. That should be enough. At least for this beginning portion. Okay, let's go. Getting a little bit of fire damage isn't, isn't so bad. I should probably swap it out for something else, though. Why would I? When I'm, when I'm shredding everything with this overkill, I'm on fire. Now both weapons can do damage. Okay. Okay. Oh man, this guy's blocking all my shots. I don't really like that. But he doesn't like that either. We have a we have a hate hate relationship. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Do I have a launcher? I don't think I have a launcher sp spotted in here yet. Not yet. I don't. Come on, give me give me some slaggy bag. We're, we're, oh, we're so back. We're so back. Never even question it. Never never for a second. Blast them. Okay, I thought maybe we'd have to drop a power up, but we're fine here. Round one, a lot of times can be kind of heinous. So the fact that we're getting through it is good for me. One more enemy over here. I think I might want to take care of. Never mind. Sky Hunter. Mid flight gets absolutely trounced. I was playing with Anarchy last round, so my keybinds are a little bit messed up here. Going to keybinds, change star to R. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's see, pistol damage, second wind health. We could go pistol damage build. Could be good. Legendary Berserker, absolutely insane. Let me get that. We don't have money shot, which is tough. But for our next five, let's go impact, blood explosion. I think that's an easy decision. Filter to the brain makes a lot of sense to me as well. Just one point. And then, let's say we go for the reload speed here. Reload speed gets a bad rap. I'm going for more of it. As much as possible, to be honest with you. We roll. Not getting a corrosive damage shotgun on this stage. Is, it, I mean, it is what it is. can't control the drops let's roll next hopefully we get something that can i can actually do damage to and this i mean my setup right now should be fine there we go we are absolutely wrecking these kids now 
Oh, the blood explosion come in handy. Yes. Blood explosion, Salvador. This this is the way. Give me a give me a a, a, a uh, fastball. And we go off here. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't say no to, to TDR. SMG, if I want to chuck stuff, that'd be good. Someone said that there is a pressure plate on top of these cartons. I don't get how they, you can even get up there. Let's try, let's try to jump up here. Made it to this portion. And then up here, pressure plate me. Let's go. That's a nice corrosive anarchist. That could be a hard carry weapon. In the right zones. Hard carry. Okay. We continue on. Now I'm kind of hoping to get some armor zones. Because that anarchist is legit. Bandit damage? Holy cow, this overkill might actually go nuclear. Let's go. Oh, I don't- I need to kill two more enemies. Where are they at? Okay. Two more enemies from anywhere. If you could please. I think I do have a command now. I think I can- I can get rid of the soft lock, maybe. If I had the right mod enabled. And, okay. Hopefully. Hopefully I can get this, this command to work. So right now I'm soft locked out of this of this round. Oh, here we go. No, don't have to do it. We're chilling. I have a, I have a respawn all enemies command, which I'm not sure how it's going to work in Rogue Lands, but maybe it will, maybe it won't. A fire overkill? Don't even, like, speak to me. Just just equip it. Just equip it. They both have... They both have matching grips, too. This is a shotgun run. Holy cow. Alright. Let's go... Ward now. Alright, we roll now. Double banded shotguns. With the bandit relic. That's that's something that Salvador could definitely be proud of. I don't think I, I wouldn't feel bad playing Salvador this way. Especially in stage one. Oh my. Oh my. Just find me enemies now. Holy This is the way. Forget quads. This is the this is the new way. I should have planned ahead with this. I could get slag off. That'd be nice. Oh, this is reloaded. Oh my gosh, we are so back. Y'all thought I was dead. I'm never over. I'm never dead. I'm never over. I'm never dead. I'm never over. Oh my gosh, that's so insane. Can we take bomber? Hey, don't mind if you do. Over somewhere else. Thank you. All right, hop towards this lad. Should be easy double kill here. There's one. There's two. I'll travel my happy-go-lucky bumpkin up here. He won't chase me from behind. I get it. You're not safe. You're not safe. I'm gonna get you. Nope, you're not safe. Oh, you're so lucky you got a shield. Oh, you're so lucky you got a shield. Oh, and yeah, I'm getting flanked. Later, kid. Oh, now you're torched. Blood explosion. Thank you. Oh, later. All right, what relics did I get? Torque, magazine size, and accuracy recovery. Okay. Let's grab our pressure plate. Because why not? Okay, never mind. Five more points. Let's drop them into the... Two Fang. 
That way I can fire twice now. From time to time. Alright. Who's got... No. Let's just roll. I honestly don't feel like climbing up all over these stages to get the gear. I'm gonna be a little bit greedy and push forward. I think I just want to get back to shooting these bandit shotties in the small map for sure. All right, this should be okay. Not bad. Well, explosion should be helping me. Only one light over here. I should have gone a different direction, but it is what it is. He goes down. Want to make sure we get at least one kill over here. Blood explosion is the only thing that'll save me. There we go. Big blood explosion. Ooh, taking a lot of damage. Nice. Okay. Yep, this fire shotgun's really pumping it right now. Really pumping it. Someone spawns up here. Who is it? Who did it be? A guy with a shield looking at me. Well, I have scorn. I'm not even been using it. Ooh, what a what a blunder, huh? Who needs scorn anyways? Who needs scorn anyways? Later, kid. You don't get it as much as you do with other characters. It's okay. Get a scorn going. Didn't slag this guy, which is which is tough. It's a fun mobbing zone, especially you got shotguns to run around with run around with. Holy cow. Okay, we roll towards this lad now. Oh my gosh, get one shot. Did I, did I get any sort of different grenade that I can use? No. It's a lob slag grenade. Okay. This assassin roof, his, his lads are somewhat strong, and he is somewhat strong himself. I'm hoping I can do enough damage off of rip here to maybe threaten him. Threaten him with the one phase, the one phase. Oh, come on. There we go, take him down. Went a little bit low on HP, but we took him down. Ooh, yeah, we might want to take this right here. Cooldown rate. I mean, at this point, we honestly just stick with the Legendary Berserker now. It's better overall. I've got one skill that it buffs. I just be able to chuck, chuck two grenades while gun zerking. Mm, elemental Empathy. It's some healing. I can slag as well. Make our dots do more damage. And the shotguns should be able to do enough enough damage overall. Especially because they're both elemental, right? So they're both gonna be doing at least some dots. So. The elemental empathy might have something for us. My final bucket should be right up here. Did I already get this one? Oh, the one that I missed on the other side is crazy. It's me mindlessly pathing up here. After shooting two buckets, I kind of want to get my third. Do, 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 do. I already got this one, too? Well, then, brother, that means I missed the easiest one of all. Ow. There it is. I see that chest up there. I'm not going to go for it. I'll rather just get this and go. Quick shield. Very small, but it is quick. That's acting shield. You know what? Let's just take it. A sticky longbow slag singularity. I'm looking for a transfusion grenade because if I don't get one, I'm in I'm in trouble. No oh, transfusion grenades. Okay, that's fine. We roll on. Three Horns Valley. Doc Mercy. Very tough boss for us. In fact, one of the toughest, probably, with the build we got now. We can probably end up going to your chucks. If we have to. 
Oh my gosh, get absolutely wrecked. Save that, Pyrex candy. Save that for a rainy day. Right now it's not a rainy day. Right now it's a sunny day. Okay. Easy mode. Get rained. Get rent. <laughs> get ripped. <laughs> oh gosh. Bad. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, we close the door. Five, six, we pick up six, seven, eight. We most certainly want to be laying them straight. That's when we go get the Pyrex candy. I don't know how we're going to live here. Maybe we do maybe we toss a singularity. We toss a singularity to get him looking a different direction. There we go. Can we heal up? Singularity. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it right there. Can't face me if you got if he's getting pulled by singularity. And we just Pyrex candy him down. I right, love thumper a slag pimper now. Don't mind if I do. Do not mind if I do that slag pimper now. Let's go. That's a nice offhand weapon. But then again, it's like why would you swap off what's working right now? But. It might not be working, you know, in the next round because different different raid bosses have different elemental immunities. You have to be ready for anything. One thing I do know is that I'm probably going to want to get sniper rifles to use. Not bad grenades, but I could go for something a little bit better. Okay, well, wasn't the best pull in the world. But let's make sure that we just make sure that we get some sniper rifle SDU here. And maybe some grenades and maybe some shotgun. And launcher. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll. Wham Bam Island. This is an this is a zone where slag isn't as good. So I'm happy to have other options. I don't have a really good shock damage weapon, do I? Not seen anything besides this for Peter. Hmm. Maybe we could cheese it with a Pimpernel. Who knows? Pimpernel is a little bit is a little bit strange when it comes to damage. Sometimes we could try it. And let's go for elemental empathy is important. Ward's important too. We take that fleet. Let's roll. Slag Pimper. Now, I don't think it's going to do that much. I think this guy resists slag heavily. If that doesn't work, we're going to have to switch it up. Come on, get me there. It's not bad damage if I can hit, if I can hit the right crit spot. That's not working out that well, huh? I don't want to do fire either. That's that's my biggest problem right now. It really is just shock against this guy. Fine, Texas repeater. See if I care. Can we go pistol damage? It's a doll as well, which makes it even worse. Good double pistols? I don't know. Devil pistols might be nice. Some, something to slag could be good too. Okay, we're gonna just try this, try this way, even though using this doll is atrocious damage. Keep roll, we keep going though. It's gonna be a tough raid boss for us, but we get we have enough tankiness, that's for sure. We don't have enough tankiness. Maybe I could use. I have. A, I have a stormfront grenade. Do I not? What if I just use a stormfront grenade? There we go. Nice. Okay, maybe the, maybe the stormfront is the way. We just zap him with this grenade. 
Can we run around with this shotgun other than that? I can go back to my fun double shotgun build. I think something, I think that could be fun. Where would my fire overkill go though? There it is. And so now we can have some fun with the shotgun build. Oh, let's go. Anybody else? There we go. Little, that'll be a good blood explosion. There we go. Once this guy shows back up, we're going to slag him. And throw some more storm fronts at him. Oh, I make sure I hit him in the right spot here. I need to get a reload off. He needs to get, he needs to get slagged. There we go. Ow. Do I, even, do I have enough to get through that? Not quite. Wow, that was intense. Um, I think this sniper can get changed out for the pimper now. Did I, did I get the right weapon in there? I did. Okay. I can use my a little bit of ammo regen here. Hopefully get back a grenade. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Okay. We're fine. Where's my grenades at? There we go. I'm really just looking for gr for grenade spawns here. It'll help me out most against this boss. No grenade spawns. Craziness. Crazy talk. There we go. There's one. I believe while I'm gunsurking, I get double grenade tosses, so I'm going to hold. Okay, two grenades now. Okay, now let's gunsurk. Put four, four long storm fronts on them, and now we... I mean, it's working. It, it's working. The storm fronts are doing massive damage to this guy. Can't say it's not working. Okay. And more grenades is what we're looking for, is what we need. Without them, we are doomed. Within them, we are saved. Couple grenades, please. A couple, just a couple. One or two. One or two could be nice. Don't want to let this guy get an evolve off. Oh, he does get it. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Okay. Now we just gotta get some slag on him, and this this boss goes down. You don't, need, you don't even need this flag, honestly. That's Stormfront Gaming for you. I'm gonna be mad at me and be like, you cheese me, I'm not gonna give you any good loot, which I respect at the end of the day. The Avenger is not gonna get the job done. Is that a brand new... I got a brand new skin customization. Let's go. That's a big get. A very enormous get. If I can get down to it. The Hawkeye can let go. It's fine. I just want to be able to scroll down my inventory. Here we go, Borderlands. You got this. Hmm, they tried. Okay, let's see. Skin customization. Wet t-shirt. Bada bing, bada boom. Sick. Might see that on the, on the thumbnail. More iridium would go nicely for me. Okay, I think we I think we do make the move for the red chest, obviously. This takes a little bit of time to get over there, but you know I can I can yap for years. This is my it's it's getting pretty hot up here in upstate New York. It's, it's been a, a pretty long day of recording. I've this is my third 
rogue lands um run that i'm doing and this is and i also have been doing pokey rogue for like i didn't think that for like two and a half hours today which is it that's just i mean it's it's not a bad time it's a it's a good time that shield kind of goes pretty hard it's a good time just that's not how i'm that i'm using to record this game Gotta make sure I keep it up with it. All right, let's see. Nothing. Basically, the loot this round, this so far, tier one. Kind of not good at all. Honestly. The, the, the legendary class mod definitely is good enough. At least a little bit, but we roll. We roll Bloodshot Stronghold. Easiest mini game. I'm happy for these double overkill style. These things have been a cr a cruising. Cruising. I think they have legs too. I think they I think I might be able to scale them enough. To do some serious damage. Oh, let's see. Development doesn't make sense right now for me at least. We might go adaptive shield here. I kind of like the idea of being immune to fire. Oh my gosh, double legendaries. This one's better. Let's go. It's down in melee damage and then even a one stat up in another. Just objectively better. All right, tough zone, but we should be fine. We're going to go our double shotgun build again. And Pimpernel as well. Gorn. Later, kid. Climb. Hop on railing. Hop on rock. Get a little bit of a, a flankety flank off on these guys. Go flankety flank. Stormfront should come and should clutch here. I don't, I don't have to worry about dying here, I don't think. I, I should I should be worried about dying. I th I'm definitely worried about dying. Oh, I live. I live. Oh, I'm, I'm so alive. Oh yeah, get them all. Keep throwing my nades. Oh, I'm getting torched. Getting torched in the back. Oh, I don't I don't really want to be up too far here. I'll, my slag one is the only one doing damage to these guys. We're fine. We were so honestly, it's, this is the easiest run of all time. I need some grenades, please. Oh, here's one. Chuck out this guy. Okay, I still don't have a grenade. Oh man, this now I might be in trouble here. Oh, this raging Goliath. He's he's being a bro. Come on back. Thank you. Appreciate that. Okay. Now you're gone. Very simple. All I have to do is go into the fight for my life a couple times, but hey. Whatever works, right? Let's go Mylan. Get our shield capacity up a little bit here. And now it's now my shield's not so bad. Tier 2 uh, pressure plates aren't usually the best as far as the gear you can obtain, but they're 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 not quite as strong as tier 1 because these weapons by comparison to the enemies would be a lot stronger. But we continue. Finally, some iridium. I feel like I've been starved. But do I have a pistol damage relic on still? Holy smokes. I could, I could be doing even more. I feel like I was doing okay damage as it was. Room cleaner? That's not. Alright. A 
Okay, is that launcher going to be better than what I've got? I don't even have a launcher on spot four yet. Let's put it on. Okay, the bad lances should be Saturn. No, it's not. It's robots. I can actually finally use this anarchist that I've been holding on to. There we go. This Garna anarchist. Let's go pistol damage. And... I don't want to eat a double pistol. Let's go for this instead. Okay, let's go. That's a junk loader. Instantly gone. Can't see with the sun in my eyes, but that's fine. Keep it moving here. Oh, yeah. The amount of damage we're pumping now is ridiculous. More legendary class mods? Holy cow. I'm getting a bunch from now. Okay, I can't quite see, but aim down sight and make it a little bit better. Pow, pow, pow. Nice. This anarchist rips. Really rips. Okay. Easy. Oh, Blood Potion's gonna hit this guy, too. Later. Still don't have a decent transfusion, but that is okay, I think. Especially because we've got Gunzerk when we, when we need it, when we want it. I'm gonna get over here while this Gunzerk is active. Come on. Give me there. Take a blast him. Get that slag. And blast this dude. Yes, yeah, slag obtained. The Anarchist rinses him down. Put, give me more armored areas, please. I beg of you. More armored zones. We make such short work of them, it's ridiculous. Okay, I eventually need to get down this tree for Yippee Go fill the brim. And it's, honestly, it's only a pressure plate back there. We continue on. We don't need to stop. This was tier 3. I would definitely go for it. But tier 2, no thanks. Okay, the exact opposite type zone. Let's go ahead and make sure this audio is not so loud in here. And then we... Swap off of this anarchist and go on to... I would say a volcano, but... Let's go for this overkill instead. And then go bandit damage. Okay, let's go. First enemy I get is armored. Guess what? It doesn't matter what your name is because you don't resist to the head. Yeah, so artful damage and Captain Blade's auto idol. I like my fight for my lifetime. I find it very important. So how about you don't try to take that away from me? Definitely get some grenades down here because I'm going to go down. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Don't like that. Don't like this, this corner that I'm stuck in. Very clean. Holy cow. Very clean. What are we looking for? I think a deputy's badge could be kind of fun. It could use us up to the edge. The edge of infinity. The edge of extinction. Either way you want to look at it. The enemies are in trouble if we get one. You know, we're just chilling. This is more... Of, I'm, I'm honestly just pretty laid back right now. I'm just trying to make sure that I get this run complete. If I can if I, if I can get through the gauntlet here... Then it's just Krieg left. And then, the, then, then I can be the greatest player of all time. No one would ever challenge my throne after that. I'm just worried about the Krieg run in general, because Krieg is basically impossible to win on. In this mode. Let's go... This point... Let's get some grit. Let's roll. Okay, very nice. I don't have to worry about any kind of BS enemies. It's just gonna be a bunch of rats that swarm me and want to kill me. Oh, and the first one's loot, though. We we appreciate that. We appreciate that. Ochre blaster action. Probably not getting used, but... It, it might be used sometime in the future. Yeah, he's just, he's, he's gonna put me down. This is a this is get put down city. 
We did get two grenades off. Yeah, this is gonna this is get put down city. We got one more grenade off. Keep keep them going, keep them going. I'm worried about these rats stealing my stuff, so I want to make sure I pick it up. Legendary Gunzerker, the cooldown rate is pretty nice, actually. I'm not sure which way to roll it. Thank God for these grenades, holy. Without them, we would be lost. Lost in the abyss of nothingness. Okay, let's see what you got for me. I just don't think... If we're talking launcher game, I'm really hoping that the box has got some better launchers for us, like a World Burn or a Norfleet or a Nukem. Something that can actually get us up and not mess around. I would take a standard bandit launcher. This Vladoff one I've got now isn't so horrible. Alright, same thing for this guy. Just double shotgun him, and we got... Ooh, nice little Ravager with a matching grip. That could be something. Alright, toss a couple of these grenades down. There we go. He doesn't even have a chance to, to blink away, one-faced. Not bad. You gotta chill out. Thank you. Uh, finally, a transfusion grenade. Okay, and that's a pretty thick adaptive shield. Maybe we run that one. Hope it's against all different kinds of elements as well. Five points. Let's go grit. Let's go one shot, one kill, and then we can get Ipikaye next. We're, we're planning for the future. Keep it moving. As long as... Just, I mean, we actually have decent coverage for all different kinds of bosses. So yeah, I mean, even Wilhelm. Even Wilhelm is going to be a pretty, I think, easy boss for us. Anarchist. Pistol damage. Okay, just make sure we go aim for crits. Don't don't you start doing that stuff. Oh, that little deflect the deflect shenanigans. I don't like that. There we go. Stormfront should help us out in the DPS department. This is just this is basically just purely anarchist. How come this guy hasn't spawned yet? You can make me use all my, all my bolts on nothing. Okay, stormfront him off the off the edge over there. We don't want to kill him when he's close to the cliff, though. Killing him when he's close to the cliff is a bad news bears play. Okay, almost got our almost got this this boss completely shredded down. Anarchist is almost at a blammo though. Might have to go to plan B, hoping that we don't have to. And we don't have to. And the loot falls right next to me. Would you look at that? Legendary Berserker, worse than my own. Okay. Let's see what we get. A tidal wave? I do like it. Well, Grog nozzle for my left hand. That's our new left hand weapon. Start of the bandit shotgun, but it is what a doobie is at this point. Okay. Let's go for one shot, one kill. Yippee ki -yay. Not that it's going to be that effective for this round in particular, but getting a Grog Nozzle is a nice get. A nice get. I'm definitely going to be rep ramping up my pistol max ammo now. Pistol max ammo. And then we hit the box. Praying for a high powered pistol in our right hand. Hey, a launcher. Yeah, I can always go sniper. Oh, come on. My class mod is pretty much goaded. It's giving me something a little bit simpler. High damage. The unicorn explosion in the right hand could go off. Against the right kind of enemy. Okay. Chain lightning plus grog nozzle is a nice way to heal up. Okay, we do get Washburn Refinery. This is the one boss that I felt like we were pretty pretty well geared up for. We can go, I would say, Anarchist. This this combo should be fine for now, and we can swap the Unicorn Explosion after. 
Let's start with the unicorn explosion. How much damage do we get from that? Not a whole lot. But let's just get going here then. And Anarchist goes in the right hand. There we go. There we go. Pretty simple, honestly. I can also trump the sound effects as well. Audio, sound effect volume. Back up to three. It's gonna help us in this fight a little bit. It will. It will, people. That guy's still alive. There we go. Just maybe just use grenades while we wait. Okay. We get him some slag. Okay. Like what this what this gun's doing for us, big time. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it moving. One of these bad layers at a time. And with our grog nozzle, we can heal back up to full whenever we want, basically. How much damage is that? Not a whole lot. I'm burning through a ton of ammo. There we go. Keep it moving. And I just need to get through these minions, and then I can focus on what it's going to take to kill the boss. If I start taking too much damage from missiles, I'm in trouble. Try to heal up with our Grog. Here we go, back up to full. Okay, who's still alive over here? You. Okay. Should be two more passes for each of these minions. Okay. I'm thinking maybe the Pimpernel could pop off against this lad. This because this is doing nothing. Basically zero. I think I'm getting grog nozzle uh, effect with my with my Vladov pistol. I can see it shooting way slower. Okay. See without boar, this fight has a lot more to it. Okay. Get a quick reload off, and hopefully we can regen some HP on somebody. You. Oh my gosh, you almost got me. Almost run, almost to run under. Okay. Don't worry, once we get into our Anarchist back, we can start healing back to full. Okay, he goes down. Nice. You're next. I have enough ammo. Get this done. Okay, very sick. Now, for the, for the final, for the actual boss... I think it just makes a lot more sense to to rock this shotgun. And we can go Torg Magazine Size and Accuracy Recovery. And just see if we can get him down with this, with these, with these unicorns. And no explosive damage. I feel like it usually works out pretty well against this guy. Probably want to do want I probably do want to swap to the Grog to get some slag down, but it doesn't last very long. I probably also want to switch to a chain lightning here. That will regen my grenades for me. Okay. More cooldown would kind of go kind of nice here, but let's just go keep, keep going unicorn explosion here. I think it might get the job done. Come on. This is tier 2 raid. One of the hardest challenges in the game. I have one grenade regens. Okay. We're trying our best here. And doing this without any sort of... Oh, zap. There we go. Make sure we go back up to full here. The second zap comes in and we are officially in trouble because I don't have any more grenades. We're we're on a timer here. We're on a timer here for sure. Only oh didn't get any grenades there. Okay, here comes another one. Grenade me. Okay, hopefully we can heal up a little bit with this bad boy. There we go. 
Back to Unicorn Explosion. Need to get... We need to get some damage off here. There we go. Back up to full health. Oh, close. Nice try. This is going to be a war of attrition. Can I... Can I kill him? Can I kill him before I die to the inevitable... The inevitable... Double... Double Earthquake Nova. Whoa. Okay, come on. We keep this... We keep it... We keep it going. We keep it going. Sal... The gauntlet is alive. Gotta stay alive here. Get my guns back up and then we can roll again. Okay, wait for the second one to drop. And then now we go into it. Nice. Okay, the Torque Magazine size is helping out quite a bit here. Here comes the Nova. Okay, that, 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 I need to hit these extra pellet shots. Those are the ones that, that matter the most. Okay, I need to grab some more grenade ammo. This is, this is a fight. This is a fight. We're stuck into a, a pretty big fight here. Okay, don't die. Don't die to the aftershock. Don't die to the aftershock. Okay, we're alive. I need more cooldown ASAP. This cooldown is actually better. That's crazy. Okay, I need some more grenades then. I can't get cooldown. I gotta get grenades. There we go. Not only do I have to hit him, I have to, I have to hit it there. And I think I, yep, I have to hit it right there. Holy cow. So, but this, this should be somewhat effective here. Hoping and praying for extra projectiles. Okay, that Nova's getting a little bit dangerous. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of bit dangerous. Rick keeping me alive. But we might have him. Oh, gosh. Play, play, the, play, play the long con. Play the long con. One zap. Heal. One zap. Heal. Okay, next zap, I die. Except I, I die. So I gotta go for damage here. And we do get him. Oh. Yes. We made it. We played it the right way. And we get rewarded with a Hyperius kill. Holy cow. An evolution shield. Don't mind if I do. That's a shield that can pump us up for the future. Let's go. Okay. Anything else around? I do see a legendary over there. Let's go see what that that, that is or does. Legendary Berserker. Nope. Don't like it as much. The one I, the one I have now I think is best I can get. Because without, without money shot, I don't really care about the chaotic evil monk. This is just by far the best. Woo. Heading into tier 3. What am I hoping for? A little bit of luck at the at the the pressure pads i think the pressure pads will pop off oh and the 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 fatal fall i'm here bada bang bada boom we're there to tier three we go I'm that lad. We go. We it's three three every round nowadays. <laughs> You're like every round. What about the what about that last one? You died. No, haven't died in a while, brother. That's this is the locked in attempt. Okay. Yeah, let's roll. I could go back to the Unicorn Explosion, but I would rather stick to this Anarchist, which is a dream come true this round. Absolute dream come true this round. Let's go back to the pistol damage. There we go. Go ahead. Spawn in enemies. They don't want to. They, they want to stay on the sidelines. Oh, Hyperion Predator. Off rip. Off rip. Off rip. Okay, we just gotta get to his shields, then he dies. Sergeant Loader. I think I have APKA a little bit, don't I? Do I have a couple points in it? 
I do. Anti-freedom fighter. So just throw these to break his shields. I should have been doing that from the start. Okay, everything is fine here, I think. Up here in Spook, how many how many flesh targets are gonna are there gonna be, seriously? Okay. Keep everything slagged up. It's all it's literally all flesh targets. Thank you. Thank you for keeping me alive. I'm all out of grenades now. It's it's literally all flesh targets. It's kind of ridiculous how many flesh targets I'm fighting. This guy's not flesh. Let's just sit here and just burn him down. Okay. We gotta swap it up then. If, it's, if they're not gonna give me flesh targets, then they're gonna give me targets that Nirvana can burn. There we go. Of course, I turn the corner and it's all armor targets. There we go. You're going nowhere. Literally zero, zero places. Walk forward, walk back. Yeah, I throw my own grenades. Okay, it looks like we're almost ready to swap back now. Yeah, I think we're ready to swap back. Oh, don't die here. Thank you, fleet. Swap back to the anarchists. Whatever it does end up going. Right there. Okay, we're still back. Oh, we're still back. No, I didn't get my grenade down. Back to the anarchists. He drops. Simple as that. You know, it's just toss grenade. Get back at the full. I would, at this point, I honestly would like some, probably some grenade has to use. That's, that's going to be the how I stay alive here, I think. Multiple projectiles. Not really helping me, but it is what it is. Decent zone. Decent zone. Make pretty quick work of it. Hot hail or morning star or sloth, whatever it said. It's definitely a hail in that situation. Keep it piping hot. Help me when Gunzerk is down. Give me a reason to keep shooting. But honestly, it's probably going to be when Gunzerk is down. It's, it's just going to be a whole bunch of evasive maneuvers. The pressure pad is up here, if I remember correctly. It might be the vault symbol. Is it just a chest? I swear there's a... I gotta figure out where the vault symbol is here. I have a nice bit of high ground. I can probably spot it. Oh, I don't, I don't want to get stuck, though. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Up up here. Oh, really? I can't make that jump either? Are you serious? What's going on with these jumps? Oh, it doesn't let you do it at all. That's crazy. Where's that pressure pad then? Probably all the way up top, no? I thought it was back here behind... Behind something, but I could be wrong about that. Okay, either way, let's just head to the next stage. I would have loved to find it there, but I don't I don't know those stages as well. Like this one, I don't know where the pressure pad is here. Just tough. But I think we go back to the Nirvana well. Okay, let's roll. Ah, that's the wrong weapons. There we go. You probably always start with a little bit of... Or a little, little, little bit of grenade to strip their shields. Probably save me a ton of time in the clear. And probably keep me a lot more alive. Two grenades for the price of one is always a deal I can get behind. He's gonna definitely gonna evolve on me. Yep. It's okay, we stick on him. And it's gonna be a swap, probably a swap to Gorog Nozzle here soon. We're still alive and we get a Pyrex candy. Let's go. Not bad. Oh, we should throw a grenade. Or waste all my ammo and nothing. Is use this to keep me healed up for a bit. There we go. Some shock grenades, why not? Completely ignoring everybody. 
Thank God for the grog nozzle. Holy. The amount of healing you get is just ridiculous. Go for the easy target here. Money. In the bank. I'm also probably going to be looking for the, the pressure plate on this map. I, haven't, I don't think I've ever found it. I can at least look up here. Nope. I do really, really, really want to find it. I don't think it'd be over there. It's outside the zone. It's on top of that. It's on top of there. I just saw it. Maybe I have to run along the fence. Let's see. Is it? I have to run, run along the fence. I get stuck on the other side of this. I don't know. There's a way back up. Make that jump. Yeah, let's go. Spider-Man it. Mouthwash goes crazy. Blacker, not so much. We do get a Butcher as well. It's not so bad. We're also going to be getting more pulls at the box as well. So we don't have to worry about too much. Ruby is okay, but I already have the Grog for heals. So I don't see myself using it that much. How about some Grenadier? We're going to want as many grenades as possible. The Chain Lightning plus Grog Donzel combo is, is really good healing. With the opportunity we go. And the opportunity, it's it's a tricky zone because you would think it's all going to be robots, but then half the guys that come out are... shielded, like, engineers and stuff like that. So it's, it's tough to know what to use, but... Can we stick with this Corrosive setup? If they do have red health bars, we shouldn't struggle with them too much. He's not spinning yet. He's not spinning yet. Gotta get him down. And then just chuck chain lightning grenades to soften up their shields whenever possible. There we go. This guy had a shield, but it's not there anymore. There we go. And let's see any shields down here. Yep, looks like there's a couple, but then they're no longer there. Destroy you. Gunloader, destroy you. Hot loader is typically very challenging, but not when you have as much healing as I do. As grip procs twice. Bada bing, bada boom. And we got our tier 3 pressure plate right here. Slayer of Terra, Incendiary Fastball, Peak Opener. Everyone's screaming, don't do Peak Opener. Nah, I'm... I'm... Listen, I'm not a fool, okay? I'm not gonna go Peak Opener every time. Only times when it drops. Right, we can go for Wires Don't Talk now. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of grenade damage too, especially when... We're going to have plus 25% grenade damage when when, when Gunzerk is cooling down. It's just pretty nuts. Okay. Feel confident in this peak opener now. And I can go back to Torg magazine size. Want mouthwash or do I want the Torg magazine size and accuracy recovery? No, let's go for the let's go for the magazine size. Or let's go for the the, the the raw damage. I have a little bit of shock damage coming from my skull tree, so I don't necessarily need the the shock relic as much as I would like it. Let's roll. The Anacris is did a great job getting me here, but I, I think I just need a little bit more firepower to get us over the edge. And I think the peak opener is that gun to do it. That was insane. When you, when you get the extra pellets and the weapon slows down like that, holy. It's just ridiculous carnage. Ridiculous. Other than that, it doesn't have the most fire rate in the world. I can probably juice it up more. Let's go for a Rough Rider over an Evolution. I think it definitely could be the way. Holy moly, brother. It's, it's, it's just raw fury. Just absolute raw fury. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the Evolution. I'm not going to switch off it for now. Let's go Bloodfield Guns. Boiling Blood's actually quite nice. 
that's gonna be i think that's our last our last points right there we're definitely gonna do a respect before dragoons all right yeah i see you guys over there very funny he's a chain lightning that can't that got me all the way up to 100 stacks just by the way all right let's go come on the raw damage of the peak opener meets the infinite healing of the grog nozzle ladies and gentlemen we might have the run that was torque fire rate and magazine size that might be even better might be even better a b shield i just don't think we can keep it up i don't think we can keep it up at the, at the distances that we have to fight from i don't think it's possible let's roll it's only dragons now. Only one, one last enemy stands in my way from the five piece. Five in a row. New record. Come on. Our, the only time we're going to feel in danger is when Gunzerk is on cooldown. Come on, Sanctuary. Load. Please don't lock me out. I tried to pause the video, but if it doesn't end up pausing, I'm here. I'm just going to be here yapping. I've never gotten locked out of Sanctuary at this point ever. And it's still spinning, which means it's still loading. I feel confident in that. Yes, it, and the, the, the text is still swapping. Come on, load in that zone. Load in that zone. Okay, we made it. I'm not sure how long I was I was gone for, but we made it into Sanctuary. Thank God. Uh, so rifle STU has to go up all the way now. So does grenade. Other than that, I think we hit a box for what exactly? I'm not so sure. So know when I see it. Mm, maybe we just wanna. Maybe we just wanna juice up launcher for just yeah, just a little juice up on launcher. So our launcher is a world burn, which is very nice. Unicorn Explosion comes in. Peak Opener. Now, our, our weapon number three, I probably want something that can ding up dragons pretty reliably and quickly. I usually like to do all like an Avenger or something like that. Now for a respec. I'm definitely going to want to get a respec in. I don't, have any, I don't have any anarchy to worry about or anything like that. Scorn, which I haven't been using at all, but we take it. Blood Explosion. Just taking things that matter. And if we come across things that don't matter, we can always respec again. This all matters. This all matters. Okay. Took a lot of points in that scope tree. Matters. 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 Fleet definitely matters. Go to the brim, I would say it matters a great deal. And honestly, I think... That is about all we want. We can probably go grit. Uh, no, no grit needed, honestly. I don't think we'll need grit. If I die, I die. This should be the build. Let's roll. If I die, I die. If that's what it comes down to, that's what it, that's what it comes down to. Okay, we're going to use this Avenger. We're going to try to use Chain Lightnings as much as possible. And Mr. Green, get down here first. Not afraid of you. Okay. Now it's, you just stick on the grog basically for the whole rest of the run. Don't don't blow this. Hey, what in the world? How come you got a... There's no way you got a quick exit like that. You should be falling back down on the ground any time now. Tag him up. Make sure that we get this going. Green should be on the ground. I'll make that perfectly clear. Okay, now he finally decides to drop. I'm ready to swap away to the Grog at any moment. I'm almost done. Whoa! Okay. How come Green is not staying down on the ground at all? Okay, swap the Grog, swap the Grog, throw a chain lightning. Okay, when is this green guy gonna fall back to the ground? Here it goes. Oh, I need to throw a chain lightning. Thank you. Scorn. 
Big damage, big damage. And I get the revive on Brood himself. That's huge. Okay, Ch chain lightning down. I would like boost to come down on the ground. There we go. A little boost action. You're next, homie. Keep it going. Keep the the rain of rockets. Very simple. Very simple. Now we want red. Yep. Red over blue. Crazy take, but we want red on the ground over blue on the ground. That didn't quite work. How much does the world burn do? The world burn does a good chunk. I think we go for it. Um, that's not good at all. I think I already killed all the lads. And I have to kill... Basically, I've got to one-tap them with this. Maybe I can make it. Maybe I can't. I need a reload. Of, I need the reload of a lifetime here. No. No. GG. The world burn ended up probably getting us killed there. We tried so hard to make it. But the gauntlet, the, the, the run ends here. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.